everyone welcome to my channel today I am doing a little bit more of a natural look today and how to cover acne scars um, I did post this on my Instagram so hopefully you saw that picture I will link my Instagram screen name down below and also any products that I've mentioned today and anything for the cocktail is going to be mentioned down below as well um, all right, well, let's get started. Cocktail is going to be a pama martini, and so you're going to use the pama pomegranate liqueur. Um, this is so good. It has this great pomegranate taste, and you also get, I think, yeah, 17% alcohol, so you get some little bit extra loving in there. So, and um, it smells, it is a little sticky, but it smells just like a pomegranate, kind of. Pomegranate flavor, maybe? Yeah, we'll go with that. So, two ounces of the pama. One. And then you're gonna to wanna to do one ounce of vodka. I always have a decanter of vodka around. Um, just like the whiskey, these are the two of our favorites. Um, this one is gonna have a Tito's vodka in it because, because why not? Tito's is amazing. And it's so much better. I think it's a lot smoother than the other ones. And since it's from Texas, I like to be a little bit Texan proud and use the Texan products because, I don't know, I think it tastes better. But one ounce of that, one fourth of an ounce of an orange liqueur. I have the Citronage Patron, or is it? It's Patron Citronage Orange Liqueur. I've used this in everything. I use this in margaritas. To top it off, I use it in this cocktail, I use it in other ones, and you put it with like lemonade or orange juice. Oh, it's so good. It's so versatile. So I always try to keep keep this one around. But it's gonna be one of fourth an ounce. Make sure I don't find that. Okay. It's kind of a strong cocktail, not gonna lie. Kind of strong. And anyways, you're gonna put this in ice in a shaker. your chilled martini glass and look at that color mix one martini make this for friends I would double it unless make it with your best friends I would triple it and just do one each <laughs> anyways garnish with a lime wheel and there you have it you have your pama Cocktail, Pama Martini, cocktail. Yes, summer is full of cocktails. Why not? Oh, it's so refreshing. Oh, if I had a pool, that'd be really cool. <laughs> I rhymed. <laughs> I'm a poet and didn't even know it. Rhyming all the time. Well, if you want to keep on watching, I will show you how to do this look. And the, like I said, all the products are mentioned down below. Please give this a thumbs up if you liked it. And please tweet me, Instagram, Snapchat, all of those. They're all Texas Banana, um, except for Snapchat. I think it's Texas Banana 87, maybe? Yeah, I will I will write that down. All right, stay tuned, bye. Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, I am going to prime my face with the Prime and Poreless Too Faced by Too Faced um, all over my face. And then I'm going to use my Urban Decay uh, B6 Vitamin Infusion Press Spray. I have the travel size because I was trying it out. I'm not really out of this. I'm sure about it yet. And then next we're going to go in to cover these scars with the NYX Color Correcting Concealer. I'm going to use the blue one right here to cover any of the actual acne scars. And then this to uh, this pinky one to kind of go over that and over any other redness that you have on your face. As you can tell, it does go on blue, um, but it does go away once you put on your foundation and other concealers. This kind of counteracts the redness, and that's why you use like a blue or a green. This is like a greasy, green, green sea foam. <laughs> Color. My Too Faced Born This Way foundation in ivory. And I'm going to use 
Morphe M439. It is a fantastic um, foundation brush. See, and as you can tell, the, um, the blue areas that you try to cover the acne scars with, it's already kind of gone. Um, and now it just kind of looks a little bit more flesh tone, so you're able to hide those red spots. Okay, the next I like to go in and start to do my eyebrows because I do use a lot of concealers. Um, I want to do all of that first and then do concealer and do concealer on the rest of my face. It kind of, it works for me. Just do whatever is easiest for you, obviously. Um, today I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow in Blonde and the um, Becca 105 brush. I got this um, with the Becca eyebrow kit, but I like this formula better than I liked the Becca product. Um, it just seems a little bit uh, more of my color and it seems to go on a little bit easier. And this is where I like to take my Sigma 3D HD Precision um, brush because it has that peak, uh, like I've talked before, because it kind of helps sculpt out that, um, that shape that you want. Okay, and now that the brows are done, I'm going to go in with concealer and do the concealer around the rest of my face. And now I'm going to use the Jessie's Girl eyeshadow primer. I just got the little mini one in my Ipsy shipment, and so I haven't tried it before. It looks like it would be decent for an eyeshadow primer. Okay, and now that you have all of your concealers done, in your foundation, I take the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and you put that uh, right under your eyes to kind of bring out that shimmering effect, especially, especially, especially if you want shimmering effect today. And I will be out in the sun, so I do kind of want that today. Ooh. You kind of just put it that glow underneath your eyes, youthful, everyone wants to look youthful. Okay, and now to set your concealer, I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm going to use these two colors right here. Set your, the rest of your face, you're gonna to wanna to use the It Cosmetics 5x4s Bye Bye and the It Cosmetics brush in, oh that's right, this doesn't have a number, this big fluffy brush. And now that you've already done your face, it's time to do the eye makeup. Yes. For today's eye makeup, I'm going to use the Morphe palette. It's the 35E. It has all these beautiful colors. Base, I'm going to use the Sigma E40 and I'm going to use this color right here. Next, for my crease, I'm going to go in with this color right here. And then with my It Cosmetics dual ended brush, I'm going to take the crease side of the brush and I'm going to go in with this color right here. And then to darken the crease a little bit more, I'm going to take this color right here. And this is my studio gear number 35. I'm having a lot of camera issues today. It keeps shutting off on me, saying it's too hot. Well, anyways, I did already put that 
put that dark color, um, that last color on my lids already. So I already kind of smushed it in there in the middle. And then since these are shiny, I don't have to put an extra one on the actual lid. And so I'm going to move on to eyeliner. I'm going to use the, use the Kat Von D uh, Tattoo Liner in Trooper. I might do this off camera just so it doesn't get hot again. Okay, then after you do your winged liner, I'm gonna take my Too Faced Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in Perfect Black, and I'm going to do the waterline under the top and the bottom. At least if you have an eyeliner that's hard to work with, like I do, at least you just take a little smudger and you smudge it out, make it a smoke. <laughs> Okay, before I do my lashes, I like to finish my face so I can spray it to set it so I don't have a whole bunch of stuff from the mascara falling onto my face. So for use the Guerlain Terracotta Light. And my Sephora, now I'm using my Sephora 59. And because this is a light look, I'm not going to contour my face. And even with my lashes, I'm just wearing half lashes. So it's not even that big of a deal. Holy oh, crap, I'm making my hair staticky. <laughs> For my blush, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Fetish with my Sigma F40 with that fun angle. For my highlight, I'm going to use the Mary Luminizer. Yes, with my Morphe M501. Thank you, Manny, for telling me about this brush because it, it has saved my life. That's all I gotta say, it saved my life. The Sigma E60 is what I take to do under the eyebrows to give it a little extra precision. And in the corners of the eye. Okay, then to set my, where'd my voice go? Then to set my makeup, I'm going to use the NYX Matte Finish Spray. Shake it really well. And you don't have to do lashes. I mean, I do because I have no lashes, so it makes me feel better if I wear lashes. And since I don't wanna do intense ones today, I'm going to use a half lash from Lashes in a Box. Obviously, I use them, but this is what they look like. Holy crap. Yes. Well, they're not really like half lashes. But they're like three quarter lashes, maybe? For mascara, I'm going to use a very light coat of the Buxom. This is the show off black, and this is the big and bushy um, wand. You can, uh, this one thing I like about Buxom is that they have so many options for wands that you can definitely even use this black and then get whatever wand you want that works best for you. And I just like the big and bushy because, uh, like I said, I don't have lashes, so I need as many as I can go. Now, once your mascara has dried, um, I am using the Esquito Companion um, Lash Glue. It's like 10 bucks, and it has so much glue in it. I mean, it's like a, like a, the one you get for your, what am I trying to say? Holy crap. It is like a lip gloss tube filled with glue. So do not put this on your lips. Again, you have to count to 30 and let these dry. Or not dry, but get gummy so that you can put them on your eyeballs. Count to 30. 
I said these are lashes in a box, but I did not tell you which ones they were. These are the in, is it 10 degrees? Because it's like a 10, can you see that? Yes, in 10 degrees, in, in number 10. That's probably what it is, number 10. We're still counting the 30. 30. Now that you've finished your lashes, I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom lashes. I'm using the MAC, this is new, sorry, the MAC um, Upward Lash Upward Black. It looks like a lipstick. See? It could be a lipstick, but no, it's a mascara. Again, I thank other YouTubers for telling me about this. If you watch Nikki tutorials, I watched her on Snapchat and she did that and I was like, oh, it's not a lipstick, it's a mascara. And then I tried it and I was like, I love it. It's great for the bottom lashes. It is a very small brush and it has these tiny little, you can't even see this, this tiny little bristle, maybe? No. Okay. Tiny little bristles. And so it's mostly for the bottom lashes. I don't know if you want to do that on the top. And everyone makes weird <laughs> mascara faces, I'm telling you. They really make them pop a whole lot. Right. Now on to... There's a fly in here. On to the final part is lips. I am doing two things. First one I'm using from, same thing from my Ipsy bag. I love my Ipsy bag this summer. Ugh, I get the greatest things this last month. If you want to check out my Instagram, I posted a picture of the things I got in my Ipsy bag. And this is another one. It's the Lord & Berry Lip Liner in number 3035 Nude. So we're going to start with that. Hand, but I'm doing a lipstick by Gerard Cosmetics. This one is 1995. I thought it was a perfect nude. It was a perfect nude to go with that lip liner. It's a really pretty nude color. I like it. That is it for my tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully you'll give it a thumbs up. Share it. Sharing is caring. Na, 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 na. <laughs> have a great day and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. We have a great rest of the week. Bye. And always, what am I trying to say? Teeny. Oh crap, why can't I like continue the sentence? Ah, sad. Don't waste product. <laughs> hmm. Before I do, holy crap, Peter. Peter.